Hey guys, Ace Destruction here. So, we've all seen the new update for Xenoverse 2 that gives us the Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan evolution for our CAC. Now, people like me who enjoy modding, as you can tell on my channel, I've got a bunch of modding videos and stuff like that. Now we can't mod anymore because the XV2 Pasha does not obviously work with the latest version of the game. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to revert back to version 1.12, which is the previous version, the current version now is 1.13. That's the current version that came with the new update. So I'm going to show you how to revert now back to the previous version so that you can mod your games again. This is fairly simple. Even I was surprised how simple this actually was to, to do, even though it took me a couple hours to actually figure it out. But here we go. First you hit Windows, then R, and then you go on step two and it says paste steam forward slash nav console. You put that in the bottom, you hit enter, and it will bring up steam. Okay? Hold on a sec, just signing in. It will hit open steam. You see? Steam looks a bit different. It will bring up this. Now, you go where, where I put paste download depot, you go there. And you right click, you copy it. Do not get the quotations in, otherwise it might give you an error. Control V or right click and paste. Hit enter and now you'll see something happening. It's literally downloading Xenoverse version 1.12. It's downloading the previous version of Xenoverse 2 now, which is compatible with the latest XV2 patcher, which we obviously use to mod the games. It's literally, just so that we are clear, it is literally downloading the whole game again, okay? The whole game is being downloaded, okay? So it's not going to be an update that you're going to just install. It's literally downloading that version of the game. So that will be the directory. You can find it, yeah, to know, to know uh, where it is. But I, I am going to tell you as well that there is no way for you to see that it's how far it was, how much the percentage is. As you can tell, there's no, there's no way of seeing. But it will tell you when it's complete. Okay, so you just wait a little while, roughly the same amount of time you would wait for Xenoverse to in, download and download anyway. Okay, I will skip this video to that point just so I do not bore you guys. See you in a sec. So. And back guys, as you can see, it's downloaded. It even tells you the directory in which this manifest, this all the version of the game has been installed to. Now, what you need, what you can, can do is you can either go to the directory, like I'll show you right now. You go to Steam, whatever, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps. Then you go to Content. Usually you would go to Comment to find the directory, but you go to Content to find this. And as you can tell, there it is right there. Go to the depot and look, there's the installation. Well, sorry, not the installation, the files for the installation you've just downloaded. So obviously you remove the, the easy anti-cheat as always, so the mods actually work. Now I've backed up my mods as, as I hope you guys have done yourself, because if you haven't, you're going to have to reinstall all your mods from scratch again, unfortunately. Now, what you do is you can either copy this over this here to your main directory and then do this or you can do it this way this this way is just easier in, in my opinion okay i backed up the bin the xv input because this this is what makes the mods work you'll be aware of this if you've been modding for quite a while so you put that back there you go back here i go back to the depot place i download then you put the xv2 patcher there again and the data folder where all your mods were installed to you put that there as well. That's just going to copy over. Might take a little while for some people if you do not have an SSD installed. But I do, I do want to uh, make a quick note of this. Make sure that you've already installed Xenoverse 2 through Steam itself. And what you do is then, if you when you have installed, installed it, it will obviously go to the main directory as usual, which will be here. But as you see, I've, I've deleted it. Delete everything in there. Keep nothing in there. You don't want anything in there whatsoever. Then you go back to the content, sorry, 
you go back to the content folder, go back in the depot, then you take all of that and you can either copy it, cut it, move it, your choice. Cut it to the main directory. Now, the reason why I told you to install it through Steam first and then delete it is because if you do not, Steam will not see the game has been installed. It, that should make sense to you guys. Now, as you can tell, it's all there. There's one problem I ran into. There's one problem I ran into. The Lazy Bones transformation, when you transform to Super Saiyan 4, if you're using any sort of Super Saiyan 4 transformation within your mods, the tail animation will mess up. So, how you fix this is, you go to the Lazy Bones transformation, I've saved it in here, as you can tell, this is my Xenoverse 2 mods, and look how neat it is. Make sure you follow this, this because if you do it like this, you'll never have run into any problems finding your mods and stuff. You go to the new transformation installer that comes with Lazy Bone. You go next, do, you choose obviously whatever you like there. I choose, this, the way I've done it here is it's just the way I, I prefer it. Low drain for my Kaioken. Next, obviously hair and eye change. I always choose that if you want your hair to transform. And here, this is, this is, the, big, this is the big part. When it says install tail animations, do not install the, the tail animation. Don't install it. This fixes it. I don't know why, it, it just does. You click next, next, waiting for it to in install the transformations. I'm pretty sure you guys will know about this if you've, if you've used this Lazy Bones transformation before. Just waiting for it to finish. Now, as I said before, like, regarding your save game. If you've used the save game you used when you had the older version, the 1.12 version of the game, and you've now updated the game to 1.13, and you've used the same save, that save will no longer work. It will no longer work, and as soon as you launch the game, it'll ask you to uh, create a new save. Okay, obviously you go to, then you start the game from here, And everything should work perfectly. Let me just go to the game. And as you can see, it obviously I don't connect to the servers because I'm modding. You start the game. Now I've already done this and I recreated my characters. And how I knew that this worked straight away, the shading for my characters are back to the way it was when I was modding the game. And that hair you see there for Baletta is a custom hair. And so is that. I'll choose him. Because he has a Super Saiyan 4 transformation, which I told you guys it sometimes messes the tail up if you revert the game. By doing the Lazy Bones installer again, it will fix the tail so that the tail doesn't go stiff and looks all messed up and stuff. Oh, go away, Supreme Kai of Time. Yeah, she's telling me all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. Okay, now if you want, I've installed a hell of a lot of custom characters and stuff. Like you can go, I've got custom parallel quests, which I won't go into because it, it does work, I've checked. So your parallel quests you've installed will work. Do a 1v1 battle. And as you can see, there's all my modded characters. They're all there. They're all there. This is my character I'm using. And he's got the Super Saiyan All, which includes Ultra Instinct with Super Saiyan 4. So, go on that. Fight whoever you wish. I'm just going to fight him for the sake of this video. All my custom stages are back. Everything's there. Of course, I've still got my custom music and everything from when I modded the game and changed the audio. It's all loading perfectly fine. Doesn't matter, character looks like a badass. Let's just get some key. Yeah, my auto dodging works, which means my custom my custom Z souls work. 
Super Saiyan, bang. And as you can tell, I've got a custom move set as well. It's also Instinct Goku. Super Saiyan 2. Get wrecked. Bang, goodbye. Okay, obviously I couldn't show you there uh, the Super Saiyan 4 transformation works, so what I'll do is I'll go on training mode just to show you guys quickly that it does work and that everything works well. Oh, just go away, why does it always do this? Yeah, sorry, like I use a save editor to, to obviously complete all the quests and all that stuff because I've played this game a million times and I've done them all before. So I find this easy just so I can enjoy my mods. Come on. Yeah, foo, go away. I don't trust you, go away. You're evil. Alright, let me just fly back over there. If you hear the music in the background, I apologize for that. I'm using not the best mic in the world. Go back to training, whatever, it doesn't matter who I'm fighting. Let's go to the war tournament stage. Right, I'll just do the transformations to show you that it's all working and there's no problems. Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2. Saiyan 3. Just look at my hair for Super Saiyan 3. That's also custom. I like that, I think it looks cool. Just makes it a little bit different. And Super Saiyan 4. And this is the magic. You see? Tail works perfectly fine. Animations there. No problems. I can fly and my tail's all good. If you do not run the Lazy Bone inst installer, the tail will go stiff and the animation will mess up. I'll show you that all the transformations work. So Super Saiyan God works. Super Saiyan Blue. Super Saiyan Kaioken. Kaioken again. Kaioken times 20. See, all works perfectly fine. Ultra Instinct. All works perfectly fine. Let's just show the character. Ultra Instinct Mastered. Changes my hair color, all that good stuff. As you can tell, it's all done. Right. As you can tell, it's all working. It's all perfectly fine. You can use all your mods again. I will close the game. Now, all this is done, and I do recommend that you use the, your backups if you've got backups. If, if you haven't used your backups, if you haven't used any of your backups whatsoever, then you will have to do everything from the beginning again. You'll have to reinstall all your mods and stuff like that. That might sound like a massive mess about, but it's better than not being able to mod at all, which is obviously a plus in my opinion. Now, <clears throat> if you have any problems, any other problems that come up when you do this, it doesn't work for you in any way, shape or form, don't be shy, go in the comment section, tell me what your problem is and I will try my best to, to sort this out. You can close everything once you've done all this, including Steam, you can close all that. Also, I recommend if you are able to uh, remove auto updates from Xenoverse 2 itself, then do so. If you cannot, then I tend not to run into this. I've not once been asked to update the game since I've done this and I did this yesterday. So it shouldn't, it shouldn't ask you this. So guys, I thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video and hopefully this helped you a lot. I have been hoping that this, was, this would work and I was really panicking not being able to mod and obviously create some beautiful content for all my subscribers and people watching my videos. But now I'm back to business again and I will be making more modded videos for you guys if you're interested in it. Just subscribe to my channel, comment and like if, you, if, if this helped you. Thank you very much for watching guys. Have a wonderful day and I hope, I really do hope, that all of you guys don't struggle and it all works for you. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.